Well, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode. I had to uh, take a small little break from the uh, uh, Blue Nose Bastards um, for two reasons. Because I keep on dying in that mission and it's just frustrating. And I was looking back and I thought I did this video when it got updated. So my apologies and here it is. The gazelle with its tablet, as you can see, just doing the normal startups. Get that. You gotta left click and hold, and then use your mouse wheel to bring it to level. Then here you press and hold until it stops bobbing, <laughs> moving, and stuff. So. <coughs> The new gazelle. I don't think we've talked about it. No, because this is what this video was supposed to do. The issue. Let me see. Hold on. Is that it's a lot heavier. It feels a lot heavier. <clears throat> Let's remove these doors. Because at least they kept that. So, Copy. anyways, poof, done. So, on the tablet, you can brighten it, zoom in, zoom out. That's pretty much it. And then that's all I do. I hide it almost always. So, make sure you don't completely, you know, flood it with that lever. That's the uh, fuel. Uh, the mixture what goes in you can see the long needle and at this point I screwed up because I thought I gave it too much so I just stopped it it's been a minute since I've been messing around with the gazelle gazelle <laughs> but anywho yeah so I stopped it for a second um, the pedo uh, switch, move it to up, on, making sure the fuel is all the way back, aft, and then I put it on vent, put it on M, wait until the uh, RPM goes down. All right, so now that we have it, we're waiting like 20 seconds. I usually wait like 25 seconds. So. Ten seconds already. Make sure, please make sure you turn on your armament switch. Because... <laughs> Or arm switch. It's just, I'm reading it like in Spanish kind of deal. <clears throat> Alright, so here we got the long needle. Is moving on up. And make sure to put the mixture on the uh, halfway point, I would say. You'll notice it on the, uh, on the lever. My best recommendation is bind it to something that you can easily get to because as you can see it's all the way up there right and it's, come on let's go so around there you'll see we'll look at the gauge you see that first red right there right there you see you'll hear the engine start to engage boom 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 Rotating. So we're going to look at the gauge. We got the small needle needs to match up with the long needle. And after that, you're just going to move it on up slowly. Don't go too fast because you will flood it and the engine will stop. <laughs>
Perfect. We get our autopilots. And this is where I like to put that one. Let's see. Take a look. What do we got? We got a pot on the left. So here we're going to look at the update, right? So we don't have to switch helicopters anymore because we have it. We have a a ground um, air to air, air to ground, and then we have our pods. Now for the pod on the right side, you can get the you know those three pods that you see right there, and you can uh, or and or you can get that machine Copy. gun that's right there, the 20, 20 cal, I believe it is, but you cannot get that on the left side. On the left side, you can only get the tw the the pods. So you can do 100 rounds, 200 rounds, or 400 rounds. Now mind you, 400 rounds might sound like the best deal, but that adds a lot of weight. And let me tell you, if the Gazelle with these two pods feels crazy heavy, with the 400 rounds, it's insane. Rearming complete. So. I'm bringing out the control. You can see it on the bottom left. The new way to take off the gazelle, in my opinion. Make sure you're light on your feet, on your skids. Light, light, light on the feet. Once you got it pretty good, just give it a quick whoop, yank. Just enough. That way you can defeat that ground effect. Because it will mess you up if you try and go slow like before. So, as you saw in the intro, we're going to test out the uh, the new pods. They do pretty good, as you saw. <laughs> um, but you got to make sure you, you, you land those hits. Now you saw that we can, you know, put that gate, that um, reticle, completely disappear, make it disappear and bring it back. So that's one, another cool feature. Flying the gazelle requires a lot more um, inputs. It's definitely not like before. I'm not going to say I hate it. I don't. It's just it takes a little bit getting used to. After I, um, I was used to the ease of uh, flying the gazelle before. Alrighty, so... There is no surprise here. <laughs> I need to see. I need to get the. I might get the hind on this. Uh, on this sale. I'm not gonna lie. I know someone. Someone had suggested that I should get the hind to test it out to to fly it to see how I fly it. I've heard good things about it. And who knows? Maybe for the. Uh, for our next video, I'll have the Heim. Alrighty, so... See that it's... Flying it is not that bad. Ooh! And boom. <laughs> Once you get close enough, you just, you just gotta cut the, cut the throttle. Just knock it. So here we're going to swap over. Once you choose, Request you can choose on either side, either left or right. Copy. Doesn't matter. But make sure you choose, you know how many you're choosing, either one or two. Um, you can't have guns and air to ground rockets. Or for that matter, air to air rockets, right? You can't have either, uh, you know, mix and match like that. It's, it's one or the other. So that's why it's put that way. 
loading not that bad pretty good pretty quick and this is I think the speed one yeah that's complete. that'll show the speed Alrighty, so you all you saw from the from the begin from the first takeoff, you just lift the throttle a little bit faster. Once you get that little wobble wobble light feet, just lift it up. And once you get starting to you know move forward, it gets a little Uh, shaky in a way like it, it'll want to pull you know rotate left and hard left so you have to like counter it really a little bit more aggressive than normal but uh once you get it you get it you know it's no big deal alrighty so one thing I didn't think the uh, range of this was this good I am well within uh, outside of the uh, tanks range so and of course every other ground vehicle has their own different you know um, radiuses of range but from here it doesn't see us it can't hit us so I put it on autopilot mode just make sure that you got it pretty much level and then before the autopilot you can let uh, let go of the feet of the pedals or that anti-torque pedals um, but here do not let go of the other uh, pedals um, look at the screen sometimes it's been doing that to me so you just you know it just kind of like loses its positioning so just give it a minute make sure you got the uh oof, the collective you know on hand because you got to mess with that a little bit so here we go we're gonna laze and you see the arrow on the uh on the reticle right there it needs to be pointed forward to your target that's the orientation of your helo so once you see the red dot you're good to go look at that and direct hit that was a solid solid beautiful hit a shot from the right that's number one right there if you look so it's zero one zero two so make sure it green lights make sure your helicopter's orientation is facing the target that you are lazing poof and away you go it's easy it's easy I've, i was having trouble before because i forgot to turn on the arm switch <laughs> that being said this is a great helicopter for stuff like this um, if you have a a partner in crime <laughs> to say it like that yeah it's a wingman it's not a wingman it's you know your co-pilot anyways if you got someone that's willing to do the the gunning part then it's so much easier communication gets better and you know you don't have to like leave that seat to hit your targets Ugh. anyways the last one that we're going to test out is the air to air so the air to air missiles are eh, eh, you know how do I say it they not the best and you see this right here you see how it, it just kept on like wobbling and wobbling just as you get as soon as you get close just cut the throttle the cyclic the collective just kill it alrighty so we just jumped over to 
Uh, the other just replayed it just so that uh, the hind that we shot down can reappear. I've been trying to do the triggers and it's it's been not working for me. So I don't know. I I gotta like start it over, start the whole um, mission editor to try and get it going. Do you prefer the gazelle with the doors or without the doors? Let me know. For some reason, I hate the doors. I always like them off um, because I can hear my surroundings a little bit better. So here we go. Arm switch on. I always forget, always forget. Covers off or open, I should say. We got our flares. Alrighty, perfect. So here we go. Light on our feet and whoop, done. If you got the circles, that is the air-to-air -air, um, reticle or symbology. All right, so we're going to try and shoot it from the front, and then we'll try and shoot it from behind. Chances are that you'll have four missiles and you'll use all four for one target they're not that strong i would say you probably need a, at least two good hits to uh disable or down your target you see the hind release flares and it just chased the flares we're gonna go for another one flares out Chase the flares. You can see how the, the gazelle's a little sluggish. It's definitely not as snappy as it used to be, which Listen, I'm no expert, but a lot of people from what I read were complaining about it. And then I would hear from certain YouTube channels that Gazelle Pilot said that it was right on the money. So, who knows? So, here we go. Flares out. Chase the flares. And once again. So, you know. <laughs> a little uh, upsetting we're gonna rearm try it again all right so take a look at what happens now you're just fumbling around I'm fumbling and in and in uh, boop <laughs> yeah, that happens a lot. Alrighty, so back on the uh, new gazelle. <laughs> Copy. Copy. Doors off. Request rearming. Copy. Just rinse, repeat, guys. Rinse, repeat. You do it enough times, it's just second nature. Here we go, testing the flares. Bam. Now, <clears throat> that switch right there that says CC. And then something else on, on the bottom of it. So CC is... You press one time, it shoots one time. You bring it down, it'll shoot an X amount. I think it's four at a time. 
Kind of like how you saw the hind do. So here, we're gonna give it a shot. Close range. Poop. And it just completely messed it. And the hind didn't even shoot flares. So we're just gonna go further out to see if maybe at that range you just can't hit them. Once you get it, you see how smooth it flies? Now, at this speed, you do the turn and you let off the cyclic a little bit and you just start getting all this. So. Eventually we'll get a little bit better at it, but for now that's this yeah, That's my flying All right, so I I've you know I turn around and I look and I'm like that's a pretty good distance Looking and whoop And we shoot another one And that was a hit that one didn't track, so, eh, unfortunately, missile wasted. But you'll see here, it just hit him, it damaged him. But it didn't bring him down completely. It didn't ground him. So, you know, just be aware of that when you decide to do air to air with the gazelle. Anywho, guys, I appreciate your time. I appreciate everything that you guys do, just being on the channel. Um, hit that like, hit that sub, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.